everybody. I'm Ann Marburg. I'm Derek Kramer. We got you back tonight with a News 8 exclusive detailing a big change in a federal program that could affect disabled veterans. This has to do with changing the criterion for coverage for artificial legs, and it is being done to save money. News 8's chief political correspondent Mark Davis has the exclusive story. It is estimated that 60,000 Americans every year need some sort of artificial limb. And in recent years, many of those Americans are veterans. Like 29-year-old Marine Corps veteran Greg Karen of Ellington. He lost both legs below the knee from an improvised explosive device in Afghanistan four years ago. But modern prosthetics, therapy, and great personal ambition and determination have brought him to a good place. Water sports, skiing, snowboarding, uh, golfing, swimming, anything, running. Um, I'm able to do it now uh, because of the technology. But the Federal Center for Medicare and Medicaid Services, known as CMS, is proposing to drastically limit access to modern prosthetic care for veterans and non-veterans alike. Some of the proposed changes would mean that the patient would get a very basic foot, something that has essentially a sponge rubber uh, in it, as opposed to something that has uh, a flexible action to it or a dynamic ability so that the patient can actually do what they want to do and start to lead an independent life. It's the kind of device that has allowed Greg to resume the kinds of activities he did before he was injured. Senator Dick Blumenthal came to New England's only program to train clinicians to become prosthetists at the University of Hartford today, urging the students and others to help convince CMS that this is a bad idea. What can turn around this decision is advocates saying this move is wrong for the nation, wrong for our veterans. We owe them the best possible health care. Now, Senator Blumenthal and members of the Congressional Committees on Veterans Affairs, both Republicans and Democrats, have signed this letter to the CMS saying that they should abandon this uh, proposed policy as it could adversely affect people in the years ahead. Live from the Hartford Newsroom, Mark Davis, News 8. All right, Mark, so how does CMS plan to decide who gets the fancy device there versus the non-fancy device? Well, the way it was explained to me is that they would assess you right after your injury to see what you could do. And if you were limited, they would give you that less sophisticated advice, uh, uh, device, rather, uh, rather than checking to see what you might be able to do further down the road. And the clinical director of the rehab center at the University of Hartford says that really is not in the best interest of the patient. All right, Mark, thanks. We'll be watching. Thanks very much.